previously on Home and Away. Check this baby out. Hey, hey. <laughs> Looks like you're finally one of us, mate. It was a nice day for it. Nice day to beat the snot out of you. Big words. You gonna back them up? Yeah. Stop, police! Stop! First immediately or you'll be arrested. Well, for we're not doing anything wrong. Till next time. <laughs> Jesus, Tats. Get the ambulance now! <laughs> Why haven't they told us anything? I don't know. Oh, hey, hey. Sorry. Hey, how's Stu going? He's in surgery. He's in surgery. Yes, the wound's contaminated. He needs to be in theatre to have it all cleaned out, otherwise his arm could become infected. Whatever was used to create the wound, it was obviously not sterile. So we'll need to contact next of kin. Oh, look, whatever he needs, we'll do. I would have thought you two done enough already. What's that supposed to mean? No, it's all right. Look, I know what you think. Do you? Yeah, look, whatever. You want next to kin? You try the club, you'll find his old man at the bar and his mum on the pokies. We're the only family he's got. Well, I would have thought you'd take better care of him then. Anyway, the police are here. I'll leave you to them. What happened? Hey. I reckon they were all there looking for a fight. Yeah, it's out of control. Mm. Well, Charlie turned up and uh, they behaved themselves pretty quickly then. I hope your girlfriend's happy. Stu's in there because of her. It's not my girlfriend. You know, Buckton and the other pigs, you just stayed out of it. So we didn't finish on the beach. You think I don't know that? Instead, Jake's crew get a free shot at one of us. <laughs> I told you Jake's boys weren't going to let up. They think they can get away with murder. They almost did with Stu, didn't they? So what are we going to do about it? I think you know. River boys aren't going to be too happy about one of their own being attacked. I thought I was cooling things down by sending them on their way, giving them a chance to cool off. So much for that. Sergeant. Well, he's out of surgery and he's now in recovery. Can we talk to him yet? Well, I'd rather he didn't get too worked up, but um, sure, you can ask a few questions. All right, thanks, Sid. Sure. I just want to make sure things don't blow up down at the beach again. So if there's any trouble... Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll give you a call, of course. But look, if you want the heads up, why don't you go straight to the source? Daryl Braxton, he's got to know something about it, Wiz. Well, the river boys aren't going to tell us anything. <laughs> yeah, well, hardly likely to ask a copper to join the Daryl Braxton fan club, but I have to say this. Having dealt with him in a business sense, I think you'll find there is a decent bloke lurking underneath all that bad boy exterior. One that would betray his own gang? Go to him. Appeal to his intelligence, because I can assure you, it does exist. Who knows? It might be the only hope we've got of bringing all this under control. Can I come in? I just thought you might like to know that Stu came out of his operation OK. That's good. He won't tell us who did this to him. I'm hoping that you can talk him into helping us. She knows better than to talk to the cops. Hey, don't. No. She's the reason why he's in hospital. That's a great way to deflect the blame. But the reason he's in hospital and the only reason is because of a war that I'm trying to stop. If you'd have stayed out of it, it would have got sorted. <laughs> yeah, and how many people would have ended up in hospital then? Injured or even dead? Take my advice. Walk away. Don't make this any worse than it already is. I want you to tell that to Jake's boys first. We're not backing down this time, Buckton. If you want to get involved, you're just going to make things worse. <laughs> Right, so it is payback on top of payback. That's how it's going to be. When does it end? Right, thanks for the feedback. We'll take it on board. <laughs> I wasn't doing anything wrong. Actually, how many you were speeding? Looks like you were heading somewhere in a hurry. This is harassment. No, it's just us taking the opportunity to ask you a few questions. Like, where were you yesterday and what were you doing? What does it matter? Actually, it matters a whole lot. I'm sure you've heard there was an attack on one of the river boys. Got nothing to do with me. What is that? Get out of the car. Now.
tell me why you need to carry around a set of scales with you? I'm watching my weight. Need to keep in shape. You know, I weigh everything before I eat it. So you won't mind if I take a closer look at the rest of the vehicle? What is it? Are we keeping you from something important? No. There's trouble if ever I saw it. Yeah, I'm keeping an eye on them, but I can't move them on until they actually do something. Well, that could be your reason right there. Hang on, fellas. Whatever you think's gonna happen, it's not gonna happen here, okay? Hey, come on. At least take it outside. Oh, uh, you heard what he said? We're happy here. Nah, move it, bud. What are you gonna do? Show me your tats? You wanna tell me what this is for? I'm building a copy house. Charlie. We've got a problem at the surf club. Apparently a ball's just broken out. Well, looks like they start with A. I'll call for backup on every inch that you'd searched. Oh, no, don't you worry about that. We'll fix it up. So we at the end yet, Brax? I mean, is that it? I'm arresting you. I can't corroborate who started the fight, so every one of you is getting done for a fray. And if there is any more trouble, don't think I won't throw the book at you for that as well. I get up. Turn around. You're gonna be okay, John. Now yeah. listen, I'll be with you in a minute, okay? All right. <clears throat> Watch exclusive sneak peeks, cast interviews and more at yahoo7.com.au forward slash TV.